Hey guys, as some of you might be aware, when Enhanced User Interface stepped up to version 1.27, it made some changes to the Leaderhead screen, which has influenced its ability, its compatibility with some other mods. The one I've noticed the most is Info Addict. Now, if, if you're not familiar with Info Addict, when you're on the Leaderhead screen, there's a button that appears down here that says Check Info Addict, so that if a leader approaches you about declaring war, you can check things like military score, diplomatic relations, stuff like that. Um, Unfortunately, once Enhanced User Interface stepped up to version 1.27, uh, the Check Info Attic button was here all the time, covering up the minimap, which obviously would be annoying. Um, this is actually a problem with Info Attic, not Enhanced User Interface, uh, but none of that matters because there are some easy workarounds, and this video is about a, re a fix that I'm kind of releasing, although I can take almost no credit because mostly this is me just taking other people's work and trying to make it work together. But I, I do offer a download link in the description and what that download link is for is I've taken Info Addict as well as Neblet's Diplomacy Values uh, mods and I've wrapped them up into a DLC mod pack. So basically what that means is you'll be able to use this DLC mod pack and you'll have the functionality of Info Addict and Neblet's Diplomacy mod and uh, be able to use Enhanced User Interface 1.27 all at the same time. So just a quick demonstration of that. Um, to verify that this is Enhanced User Interface 1.27, I'll go ahead and click on the construction project. And as soon as I select, you can see the city view closes automatically. This is a feature that wasn't introduced until Enhanced User Interface 1.27. So there's the proof that I'm using that. You can see I've got Info Addict here. Um, but there's no button here, and yet when I go into ASCIA, uh, there's the Check Info Attic button. And let me go ahead and uh, denounce him just so I can put a modifier on myself. And now when I hover over, you can see we have denounced them minus 35. So Neblet's Diplomacy value uh, mod is in place, and the Info Attic mod is in place as well. So like I said, I'm in the description. I'm going to leave a download link. This is a DLC mod pack. So what that means is you're going to go into your... Uh, your uh, assets folder and then DLC folder and drop this in there. Now before you do that, there's some things I want to point out. If you are already using uh, Info Addict at all, and if you're already using uh, Neblet's uh, Diplomacy Values mod, and I think this even includes the DLC that I recently released, um, if you're using these things, you'll either have to finish your current game or abandon your current game then go ahead and delete them out, drop this DLC mod pack in, and then start a new game. And from that point on, you'll be able to have Info Addict and Enhanced User Interface and Neblet's Diplomacy Values all at the same time. Uh, you won't have to go into the mods menu to set it up. You can just load up your game and go from there. So I hope this has been helpful. Now, um, something else I wanted to add. Uh, first of all, let's give credit where credit is due. I was able to accomplish this in part thanks to Cicero225 of Civ Fanatics. He's the one that wrote the mod that allowed people to make these mod packs in the first place. I highly suggest you look that up if you're interested in converting some mods of your own. Um, one little feature that I found out the hard way is you can't just convert a mod into DLC form. Like, obviously, I had already converted diplomacy values to DLC form. I couldn't then take Info Addict in DLC form and put it side by side. Um, apparently, it's, it's like a launcher type thing where it'll only... Uh, the first instance of a mod pack or something it'll load. So you kind of have to wrap them all up at once, and that's why I'm releasing this as two combined as one, uh, especially since there was already a DLC version of Info Addict out there, but not one that was compatible with EUI 1.27. Also, I want to give special credit to uh, Reddit user Nalcor. Uh, this EUI and Info Addict conflict has been going on since late August when uh, in the enhanced user interface version stepped up. So it's been going on for a couple months now and a lot of people have said all you gotta do is roll back your enhanced user interface version or uh, delete the leader head module of uh, enhanced user interface which was a solution I didn't particularly like because by doing that you also kill the trade logic uh, feature of enhanced user interface which is something I happen to enjoy. Um, but what now core of Reddit has done is pointed out that there is a very, very, very simple solution. So if you don't want to download my DLC mod pack, here's something you can do if you have Info Addict and Enhanced User Interface version 1.27. What you do is you go into Info Addict's um, 
mod info file. It's a file. It's just a file that ends with dot mod info. You go in there, you find out where it says in-game UI add-in, and you replace that with diplomacy UI add-in. And there's some special capitalization that goes with that, so I will leave this instruction in the description below. Um, so if you don't want to download this mod pack, but you do want to be able to use Info Addict and Enhanced User Interface, uh, rather than deleting the leader head feature of Enhanced User Interface, what you can do is make that change to Info Addict, and you'll have the same functionality. Um, I still would recommend going with the mod pack just because then you'll have Info Addict in DLC form. Uh, it's a little lighter weight. You don't have to go into the mods menu, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're anything like me, uh, an info addict, enhanced user interface, diplomacy values, these are all mods, mods that just add more info to the game. So if you're like me and you don't actually mod your game but you like having these informational tools, um, go ahead and use this mod pack and that way everything you have will be in DLC form and it'll just be a lot easier to use. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.